In the Heart of the Word, Reflections by Father Joseph Mary, SETJM, on the Daily Readings from the Holy Mass, Saturday of the Eighth Week of Ordinary Time, St. Charles Luanga and Companions, Martyrs. God bless you, dear family. Today in the Heart of the Word, the Scriptures speak to us about the wisdom of God. The elders and high priests ask Jesus by what authority he is teaching in the temple and even stop the temple sacrifices. Instead of responding, Jesus asked them a question. The baptism of John was of divine or human origin. The elders decide not to respond, since if they say what they believe, that John's baptism was of human origin, the crowds will stone them to death. If they lie and say they believe it was of divine origin, Jesus will ask them, why did they not follow John? So to avoid the consequences of their own opinions and to try to trap Jesus, they say, we do not know. And Jesus responds to them, neither shall I tell you by what authority I do these things. God does not dialogue with a duplicitous heart. God loves a sincere heart, a heart that seeks the light, not the shadows. In the responsorial Psalm, we pray, the law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple, more valuable than precious gold and sweeter than honey. The human heart is not made for lies and manipulation, selfishness and greed. No, the heart is made for God and the soul longs for God like a deer longs for running streams. For this reason, St. Paul writes, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Whatever the circumstances may be, when the word of Christ dwells in us, we have God in us. And if we have God in us, our heart can be at rest and our soul can be at peace. The reward to a sincere heart is God himself. And God alone satisfies. Let us listen to these words of Mother Adela. St. Augustine asked the question of how man could find the true happiness he so desires. After much thought and many different paths, he concluded that the happiness of the human heart lies in discovering God and knowing that God is love and that God loves him. And that is true and authentic wisdom. All for the heart of Jesus, through the heart of Mary. Thank you.